So let us round up with a couple of key concepts so we are clear about everything. Let's say we've got an m and &E group with two associated enterprises. Now, if they buy and sell services or goods to each other, this is what we call a controlled transaction, right? And this is something, this is what we need to compare to uncontrolled transactions to know whether the pricing is the right price. Now, what are uncontrolled transactions? Let's say we've got two independent enterprises and that the top enterprise sells something to one of the independent enterprises. Now, this would typically be called an internal comparable, right? And if what the top enterprise sells to the independent and to the independent enterprise is exactly the same as what the top enterprise sells to the bottom end associated enterprise, then these two transactions are potentially comparable, right? And this would be an internal comparable. However, it could be that the associated enterprise sells 10 of these to its other associated enterprise and 100 million to the independent enterprise. And then you, these transactions potentially are comparable, but you would need to make adjustments for it, right? Because it could be that you give your independent enterprise a huge volume discount, which you wouldn't give it if it was only buying 10, like your associated enterprise is buying. But because it is buying 100 million of this, it might get things for a much lower price than what the associated enterprise should get it for. And you can't say that the prices are comparable and you use exactly the same price if you don't make this volume discount. The same thing would apply for guarantee terms, for credit terms, maybe the external uh, enterprise has 60 days or 90 days to pay for the products and the internal associated enterprise has to pay it within 30 days because that's the way the ERP system is set up. Then again, you would have to make an allowance for those extra credit terms which the independent enterprise has when buying from the associated enterprise. Likewise, if the independent enterprise sells to the bottom associated enterprise, then this would be an un uncontrolled transaction because you cannot influence the sales price by the independent enterprise and it will be another internal comparable. Now, if our two independent enterprises were to sell to each other, that would be an external comparable because in both cases, both the buyer and the seller are external to the group and therefore refer to it as an external comparable. Um, in practical terms, finding data about this could typically be very difficult on a transaction by transaction basis. Um, however, you can have one company that only sells one thing, such as accounting services, and another company buying it. And then you might be looking at that company, the accounting company's uh, profit and loss as they publish it every year. And you could have some idea of the profit margin that they're making on their operating costs, right? And that would be then you would look towards a TNMM or transactional net margin method for trying to figure out what this company is on average making for providing accounting services. But on a transaction by transaction basis, such as, as, as required, for instance, on the cost plus method, this data about the uncontrolled external comparable might be difficult to come by. And then lastly, just to be very clear, if our independent enterprise has a subsidiary and it sells anything to that subsidiary, then that is no comparable because again, these are two related parties. These are not independent parties. They might be, it might very well be that our independent top enterprise is in a 30% uh, tax jurisdiction and the subsidiary is in a 5% jurisdiction and therefore it might be an incentive to sell these things very low to the subsidiary so that it can sell it very high on to third parties um, and pay very little tax. So transactions between two related parties, even if they're not related to you, are no comparables.